Hello people, welcome back to Enshrouded. Now we're just gonna pick up directly where we left off, if I can remember that. Um, but yeah, last time we got the uh, blacksmith up and running, so that's good. Uh, let's see, we didn't get anything started here, but we do have some plates ready already. And my object was of course to get myself going a little bit better with these rising fighter armor. Now the worst part about this actually for me is raisin because it always seems to take a fair amount of trees to cut that, you know, to, to get it to drop down from, from trees. So let's, um, I'm actually going to try and speed up the, the videos a little bit. So why don't I go ahead and chop up some trees so we can get enough raisin to make the whole set. And then uh, when you see me again, then yeah, it's going to be uh, ready. Well, it looks like we have exactly the amount of raisin we need, so that's perfect. We can start by crafting the shoes, we can make the helmet. And what is it we're lacking here? We're lacking string, fur, and metal sheets. You know what, let's get some metal sheets going. Uh, do we have any metal? Nope, but we need to get scrap metal. We also need to kill a few animals to... Oh yeah, we do have metal. Here we go. But then we need charcoal. Do we have charcoal? We need wood logs. It wants more. It wants one more wood log. Let's split this stack up here. There we go. And it has enough dirt. So in the meantime, let's go out and find some sweet animals to kill. Uh, that's a goat. I just realized I actually do have charcoal. So let's put that in instead of waiting for it. Whoop. Uh, yeah, let's put you in there. There we go. So at least we can make one plate now. We need more, of course. Uh, let's see what else we do. We can repair our gear. There we go. And what do we have? Nothing. Oh, we have fur here. And we have... Oh, we actually have raisin here as well. That's what happens when you take a few days off, then you forget all your stuff. Oh, empty rising fighter. Let's put that on actually like this. These will be destroyed. Let's store this. This. Oh, we can use that. Destroy this. Uh, destroy that. Keep that for now. Save those. What else? Put that in there, the books. And mana potions we really don't need right now. Torch I rarely use, to be honest. And is that it now, I guess? Yeah. Okay. So status on needed stuff. Rising fighter. We need four string, that's fairly easy to make. 8 string, 12 string. Okay, so if we make as much as we can, we can get some more. We have plant fiber, I noticed. Uh, not here. Oh, do I? Oh, it's not the worst thing to get. We can just yank it out of the ground. And we might as well be lucky to get some metal inside here. But, uh, let's see. Or maybe down in the shroud cave, actually. A tomb. So, two metal sheets. And let's put in what we found. That's enough to get started again. So, but that will only bring us up to one more. So what can we make with this? Actually, I think. Whoops, we can... Yeah, the chest is by far the best item you can make to begin with. We'll make that. 
And then what we need is one, two, no, three, three metal sheets. You know how to get the whole set complete. But we will get three power with just these three items we have now. So that's good. Um, I think I'm gonna make a few more strings just to get that out of the world. And then we might actually, while metal is taking care of itself, we can go find one of the other NPCs, which was my uh, goal for today. Okay. Let's get rid of all this. Don't want to bring this. It's just oh, taking up space. This will be nice to have down there. I'm not going to make any food now. Do we have any? We didn't bring any water yet. We can eat those. And then go into J requests. And then we want to find. Let's see. There is a an alchemist out here who's pretty easy. Then we have the hunter. There's a carpenter out here somewhere, but I think we're going to have to just go by the quest because I can't remember the specific location. So let's just do the alchemist. Um, let's go to fast travel, to spire. And then we can fly from there. So mind you, of course, if you're running a lot around like I do, you're going to spend your uh, stamina pretty fast. And the glider is what needs it, it needs stamina. So if you just run up here and then you have only half stamina, you're going to have trouble. So try to save it a little bit. Let's see how far we get with this one. And what I like to do is that if you know we get to the point where I'm almost out of stamina, I'll just drop down. Uh, and then resume as we get closer to the ground. I see it starts blinking now. I might just drop myself here. Just a little bit. And again. There we go. No death. Oh, a little wolf. And even though we're on a mission, I do like to check these, because when you're locked in and out, I like to check these houses again, because they also have chests. So anything that's outside your base will respawn. So even if you've already been here and read this and, you know, see, um, and open a chest, there will be a new chest. So and it might be something useful. Spend a few minutes just, if you can remember uh, where the chests are. Obviously, it will help get it done faster. Uh, let's see. Not here, here. Maybe in here? That's a toilet. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna steal your bones, mate. Uh, up here, of course. Uh, it's just a normal chest, but anything goes. Oh, that's nice. I like these fireballs because they do a lot of damage. And it's nice to, you know, just as a starting shot, when you're attacking someone, just get them down a bit before you go into melee attacks. Uh, okay. Ah, yeah, there's a basement with rats. Oh my god, yeah. And they can actually do a good amount of damage if you don't not careful. Um, let's see, where's the chest? I mean, there's bound to be a chest, right? And oh yeah, this location is nice to remember. If you need the cloth, this is the place to go in the beginning because there's so many of these bags. Um, and I do suggest because you know when you get to the point where you wanna, you know, decorate and then detail your little your base, 
um, these books. Make sure to get them along the way because you're gonna use, I think it's like 80 books to make one decorative item. And that can take a while. On my other character, I think I'm at level 10 or 11 or something. And I've been farming books since the beginning. And I still only had enough to do, you know, one decorative item. So yeah. Huh, ah, no chest. I must be overlooking it, huh? I mean, this should be a chest, even though we already been here. Maybe it was just the one upstairs. Makes me feel dumb now if there's no books. Okay, well, at least I know there's a buried chest over here. Let's go get that. Did I bring my pickaxe? And it's a gold chest, even. Oh, there we go. Please tell me I had it. Good. <laughs> this one you cannot get without the pickaxe. So, that's why you should bring it on every mission. There will be several places where this is the case where you have to dig it up. Hatchet. Hmm. If not for use, then at least for getting those coins. Silly wolf. Okay. Oh, might as well get his fur now that we're here. Did he drop fur? He dropped bones and meat. So that's that. Okay, back on the mission. We're not that far away. There's also a chest here, but let's, let's just go for the alchemist. I'm probably also just up there. 300 meters. So, we're nearing the front of the alchemist's uh, ruin. Ah, uh, I guess we have to fight this guy. Otherwise, he's just gonna end up following us into uh, some mobs up here. Yeah, look at this guy. He shoots bombs. Nope, oh, not part of the deal. Again, these guys might be better off charging them instead of fighting them on the distance because of that little AoE thing he did. Um, but really just charge into them. Unless, of course, they're backed up by some friends. But once you get to them and fight them like this, they kind of get immobilized. There we go. Important to get that. Be careful with these guys because they can... Oh, yeah, nice shoot slam. Ouch. Careful, careful. Well, that's a good part, isn't it? That I only just passed the beacon. Let's see if I can get this without getting killed. This one you want to go on the back. Kill this guy first. Oh, we have two of them. So maybe consider moving and running, running away. Oh, nice. Oh, I do wish we uh, had full health when we level up. That would be nice. Okay, let's see. I want to put these bombs in here. And then we want to get some water. Whoa. Jesus. Like that. And we're gonna use a health potion. There we go. This guy, we're just gonna leave him for now. Take care of this arrow guy first. And then we're gonna jump. 
because I am loot hungry. <laughs> ah, more grenades are better than nothing, I guess. Okay, and then we can probably drop a few grenades on this guy. Yeah, very effective. It doesn't seem like there's any... Oh, we can get it from here, nice. So, let's move in. And this place is not too deep. There are a few mobs here you have to kill. Um, again, those dual wheel guys. And you can lure them into these traps if you like. See if you can tie in those shield slams, because they help a lot. Hey. Whoops. You wanna play that game? Let's do that. Whoops. That guy is not to be kidded with. Yep. Let's do like that. Later on there will be some of these that are like green and they are nasty. Um, but for now it's you know it's it's, it's easy to, no, fairly easy to deal with. Whoops, totally forgot this is be a place. Well it will become that when we take this. Chip of lightning. I can't remember if it's better than the one I have. What do we have? We have chip of staff. So this is rare, so it's actually better, right? Uh, we don't want to... Yeah, we might as well put it in there. And then we can salvage this. And what about this? 14 damage is... One-handed axe. I mean... Once we get it enhanced, it'll be better than this. But for now, the other one is better. So let's run this. hidden chests you don't have to bother with this because it just leads up to where we came from so and basically it comes out not here but I think it was it somewhere maybe underneath here actually um, we're getting closer One guy, two guys. Wow. We go. Let's uh, weaken the other guy first. Oops. Not too hard. If you need bones, consider clearing the room here. There are a lot of dead guys in the floor. And repair. Smack. Whoops. <laughs> Extremely well repaired now. <laughs> no, no, again. <laughs> Go and let's get the alchemists. There we go. And just like the carpenter, or the blacksmith, he also just gets into the uh, summoning stuff, so he's not popping out or anything. Oh, just want to check up here. I didn't really look for any hidden rooms when I was here last time, so I'm not gonna. Do that now either to be honest uh, but i do want to check out what was on here oh it's just a little nothing area okay let's just get out so you can exit up here and once again you know you're in unshrouded territory so you can fast travel 
Um, well, let's do that. Back home. So once again, the flame is pleased. Yes, he can make potions and all sorts of stuff, which is good. Um, let's see. We, I'm just gonna make a, a small little place for him as well, for now. Or well, maybe around here. But let's empty the bag so we can. Oh, we do have enough space, so it should be fine. Oh, let's salvage these bad weapons, and then why not? Go away from the scrappy sword and go into the hatchet. So we need coins. I think I do have some, right? I have 27. And, but I had more. We had nine. None there. Oh, and we need summoning stuff. And a few more coins there. So let's get this one up. Hatchet. Enhance, enhance. Ah, just one short. We could basically just go kill one of those guys over here. Uh, if they have spawned yet. No? Then we also need the building hammer. Put that here. Okay. And we are gonna use... Is that wood? Rough wood is fine for now. Um, we have a lot of wood in the, this one, don't we? Yeah. So we can make some blocks. So let's say we give this guy like a... More of a traditional house. So I'm just gonna pre-pen lane a little bit because I know he's gonna have a few more... Um, items and let's make doorway like so then we can make a narrow window and then maybe a centered window and now we ran out of wood let's see if we have some more lying around no wood and like I mentioned earlier I am gonna sort these boxes out at some point I just don't feel like it makes too much sense to do it now in the beginning um, okay I just took the wood come on should make something with it <laughs> oh we had more than plenty there we go So summon the guy. So you have the staff right and you press tab and then just choose him. And then you can place him wherever you want. I'm gonna place him here in the middle. Like this. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Eternally magical. So he wants to... Give me an eternal spell. Oh, that's nice. Nice of him. But, as you can see, he has something he needs that's called a grinding stone. And, let's see... Yeah, he can make weapon uh, armor as well. Of course, if you choose to play, like, um, a caster, this is the guy you want to make your armor. Um, and there you have the books, like I said, 80 books to make a collection like this. So yeah, remember to pick those, those up. But most importantly, he can make you uh, health potions. And Shroud Survival Flasks will give you extra time. So, quite interesting. Let's just check out what the mission was he uh, threw, threw at us. Eternal uh, Spell. To on map. So actually not that far away. Uh, see, here's the elixir world we killed the other day. So it will take some time to get over there, but, you know. I would probably go for the hunter first. So, 
Well, that's it for the alchemists. Uh, I think I'm going to divide this episode up. So, you know, but the other episode with the hunter is already ready. So thank you for sticking around for this one. And I'll see you again in the next episode. Okay, take care. Bye.